What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to another episode of Universes Mini. This episode we're going to be talking about power differences. And I chose this topic in particular because sometimes in versus debates I see people saying that one character being higher in certain stats doesn't matter if the weaker character is able to make up for it in other stats. So let's say for example we have a building level character and then we have a city block level character. But the weaker building level character is equal to the city block character in speed and has a better arsenal and yada yada yada. Their logic tends to be that of, well city block is only one level higher than building level so it's still close, right? And not exactly. The highest a building level can go is about 11 tons of TNT, while the highest a city block character can go is about 100 tons of TNT, nearly a 10 times difference. To get an idea of how huge this difference is, look up footage of a 20 ton bomb exploding and then a 50 ton bomb, and see just how much of a difference a little over 2 times the power makes. So next time you look at all these levels, like building level, city block level, don't think of them as stats, they are more so categories than anything. There are some building level characters that can get completely one-shot by other building level characters with power alone, despite being in the same level. Let's show an actual example. Let's take Little Mac. Now you all know about him scaling to Mr. Sandman who can punch through brick walls, yada yada, but he actually has a better feat, scaling to Don Flamenco who is able to punch a bull out of a stadium. This comes out to about 114,000 joules of energy. That's about wall level and it's pretty good. Now let's take another wall level character, Makunochi Ippo. He's about on par with Miata who can punch faster than sound, but we'll keep it at the speed of sound to keep things simple. The weight of a male human arm is about 12.6 pounds, but we'll keep it at 13.6 because of his boxing gloves and his additional muscle mass. That weight, moving at the speed of sound for Ippo's punches, puts him at 356,000 joules of energy. It's only about a 3 times increase, but an increase of hundreds of thousands of joules. And those are for his casual punches. When putting in his full body weight for the Dempsey roll, his 126 pound weight, we get over 3 million joules. That's still wall level and less than 1 ton of TNT, but still over 30 times stronger than Little Mac. Now let's get even weaker for one last example just to show how much each little joule of energy actually does matter. Thank you Tekken for adding this character because he is great demonstration material for this topic, but Negan from The Walking Dead. Now Negan wields a baseball bat covered in barbed wire that he calls Lucille. With or without Lucille, Negan is about athletic human to superhuman levels of power. Yet that tiny detail still matters because without Lucille, a couple punches from Negan are nothing really. I mean they'll make you flinch and stumble back a bit, maybe fall down. A couple punches wouldn't do much damage beyond just bruising your jaw. But oh man, give Negan Lucille. Just a couple swings from Lucille is enough to crack your skull open so hard that your eye bulges out of the socket. So yeah, Negan having and not having Lucille could be a huge factor depending on who he's fighting. And the topic for this video goes for speed too, not just power. The multiplication means nothing, it's the difference that matters. 100 miles per hour versus 200 miles per hour is completely different from 1000 miles per hour versus 2000 miles per hour, despite both only being a 2 times difference. Let's go back to the final episode of my old show, Fictional Fights. Ugh. Jin versus Sasuke. Obviously with new research and calculations and stuff, both are way faster with Jin at 40 times faster than light and Sasuke around relativistic to speed of light. But way back then I had their speeds at Jin with Mach 5000 and Sasuke with Mach 3000. So how the heck did Jin blitz despite being less than 2 times faster? They're both massively hypersonic plus at that point. Well you see Jin's Mach 5000 speeds were about 3,800,000 miles per hour, while Sasuke's Mach 3000 speeds were around 2,300,000 miles per hour. That's a difference of over 1.5 million miles per hour. To put that into perspective, Jin would be able to fly to the moon and back about 8 times in a single hour, while Sasuke would only be able to do it 4 times. Yup, it's actually that much of a difference despite being less than double in speed. So make sure you do some deeper digging when you see two fighters at the same level. Leopold the Brave, out.